Hello guys and girls and welcome to the next episode of City Skylines with me Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. Last episode we worked really hard on our flying junction among other things to sort out our cable. Uh, cable? What am I talking about? Not cable cars. To sort out our cargo <laughs> train network. As you can see here it's working really, really well. So I'm very pleased with this. Let's just zoom out a little bit. That was one of the things that we added. We added all sorts of things. If you want to go and check that out, then see the last episode. Cargo is running very smoothly here in Sippity City. We're growing great as well. 123,000 and the money is pouring in, which is fantastic. So... The next thing that I wanted to work on to sort our train network is now we have no cargo trains on this line that runs through the middle. It pretty much runs okay. As you can see, it's it's moving along. In fact, it's actually moving along better than I've ever seen it. There's only a couple of places where you have a bit of an issue. There we go. Where you've got, I mean, this little stop here doesn't really matter. We've got a bypass, but it's where trains come on like that and stop trains going past. So I was thinking of changing that. And also, we get the option. Uh, you can't see on there. Can you come and actually look at that train station? There's nothing we can do with that one. But like this one here, we can turn off intercity trains. So disable this if you prefer to use this station only for local trains. So at the minute, we have. Our train line's coming in on this side of the map over here. And I, if I remember right, there's one at the top over here somewhere. No, not there. It's somewhere. I thought there was another one at the top. There's another one. Is there one there? Yeah, there's one there that comes in. Is there any more? There's nothing along there. Oh, that's where the boats come in. Uh, there's nothing around there. Is it just those two? One at either side. Oh, and here's another one here. There's one here. So that's two. And then we've got the one up here where we put our junction. That's three. So we've got three outside rail connections. Just checking there's not a fourth. I thought there was one on this side as well, but maybe not. So three it is. <laughs> unless I find another one hidden somewhere. Um, and they all bring passenger trains, of course, from the outside. And there you go on our network. Some of those will come all the way down and stop off and all the sorts of things. And they, they will not clog up. But they will, they will fill up our internal, or our rail line that's on the inside here of our highway, of our motorway. So, what I was thinking of doing is, I mean, there's a few, there's a few options. We could literally disconnect this along here somewhere. We could put a train station on here, like, let's have a look, like one of these. Uh, we could do it as an end station so they can go in and out. It doesn't really matter. And we could have the outside line come in and join to one of those platforms. And then another line comes in and joins to another platform to go internal. Which is basically... I mean, I've been thinking through this. I mentioned last episode we were going to do a big change of the, the, the passenger rail network. But as I've let my city run, it is going okay. There's a few junctions we can change. And if we did do something like that... Uh, the only benefit it would give us... Let me put a piece of road down. I can actually show you what I'm talking about. So if I go... Do that. Do that. So, I can have my outside rail line go bong into this platform here. And then my internal rail line go there. So everybody coming in would have to stop and change and go to another train. The only benefit that would give me is... Um, is I would have an extra fare... So anybody coming into the city would have to pay for an extra train ticket. So it would give me a boost to money, but let's be honest, our money is doing okay. Um, I may do that just to see how it goes at one end. And see. In fact, we've got this set up here. Um, could we easily join that to our road network here? We could. Why don't we just try it at one end? And I'll, I'll be interested to see how busy this station would get. Um, let's get some one-way... We don't need that. It doesn't need to be that big, does it? Let's just get some of these one-way roads. Um, and this one, what we're going to do is we're going to have it branch off here. It's going to go across there. Let's make that straight. I always hate wonky bridges. I think they look they look weird to me. Here we go. That can join to there, and then it can come out this way. And if people need to go back again, go 
there. We'll go page down. This is just this is just rough. Just rough so we can see what's going on. Page up. There we go. And then that can sort of curve around. Let's make it a bigger curve. There we go. So people can get on and off if they wish. Um, let's connect this up with some water. That's going to be a long water pipe. Where's that going to go to? All the way to over there. And it's going to need some electricity. We can put a thing on a mountain for you. There we go. Yep. Where's the nearest spot? Right there. Would that reach all the way across? Not quite. Let's put a nice handy underground ping. There we go. Good. So that's connected. Let us just do a bit of jiggery pokery here. Now what we want is enough space they can get in and out. Let's just delete that. Get that train out of the way. I mean, it's, uh, I was going to say, it hasn't been put in the best place, but <laughs> it will do for now, as we're only doing testing. So, how are we going to do this? Yes, we want that to go underground. So, let's make that, uh, no, let's make that curved, like that. So, that's going to curve around like that, and then come page up to there. So every single train coming in is going to stop there. And then every single train going out is... I wonder, I wonder if this is going to work. I don't know. I'm getting a feeling that this might not work. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, and then that's going to go down. And then we're basically going to join that up. Uh, page down. Can I join to the underground thing, please? There we go. Good. So that can come in and that can go out. But we need to set up a train. Is you not getting power for some reason? Yes, you are getting power. We need to set up a stop going from here into... Yeah, that's the other thing, isn't it? Um... Do you know what we could do then? Is we could have a stop... Ah, oh, now this will be interesting. We could have a stop going from here. So let's just make sure we've got the right platform. That platform there, all the way... So our jiggery pokery hub. Man, this is going to get busy. Can I use one of these outside ones? Cannot find path. Oh, we can find path to there. I was hoping I'd be able to get up here out of the way. Okay, to there. And then back again. So basically, everybody coming in has to change here. There we go. They have to come in. They have to change there. They then have to change at the Jiggery Pokery Hub. Then they can get their trains all over the place. That's going to be interesting. Let's see how that goes. And whether that works okay. Well, what is it with all the people stood around over here? What, <laughs> what are they doing? That is weird. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, there we go. There goes a train. Is, is there already people waiting in here? Not yet, but there's trains going on the route. Okay, there doesn't seem to be any passenger trains coming in. Well, I'm not sure the game likes it. Um, I, I tell you what I think's happening here. I think the way this works with spawning... <laughs> it's people walking in. The way this works is this is like a virtual train station here. So normally you wouldn't see these people. They would automatically go onto a train. But I don't think the game is working out... That if they come in here and switch there, they can then get to the rest of the city. So no trains are coming in here at all. If I connected this line and went straight over it, they, they would come in again. In fact, let's do that. Let's, let's delete those. Let's connect this back up again over ground. Let's take that one. Uh, we'll go to there. We'll go to there and to there. There we go. And I bet a train will start appearing here again if we give it time to catch up. Hmm, that's very interesting. Maybe we'll maybe we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. It's connected up as it should be. Let's leave that going for a bit. The other thing that I wanted to change was this little circuit here where we've got perfect example. Here we go, look. I bet that train's going to try and cross over in a minute. And this is all getting blocked up. Is it going to come out? Normally, they sort of go in... They take turns and go in an order. Let's see. Yeah, he's waiting. Yeah, so he's not going at all. But if we make... Ah, oh, why is he stopped? He's stopped because this one's gone in there. And he's a particularly long train. Yeah, there's not enough room here, is there? For all of this. So what I'm thinking of doing is making this section here a one-way loop. And maybe they'll come in one way here. 
this station will probably have to move. And then they can go in there. And then round over here. Where does this line go? It wiggles round there. Connects back here. I'm just thinking practically how that's going to work. So, but if a train coming this way wants to go down, we'd have to have two lines coming in. And one of them's going to have to loop around the other way. It's actually going to get quite messy, isn't it? I'm wondering whether we could just change this altogether. Because we do have other lines here. We've got these lines that we're not using. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I need to think about it a bit more. How's things going over here? Oh, okay. The people have all gone. No, the people are still there. <laughs> There's still no trains coming in, even though this is, like, connected up now. That is weird. That... Oh, there we go. One... Okay, trains are going out. Are they going to pick up those people? Yeah, people are being dropped off. That is very strange. Let's have a look at the other end. I'm sure there's never any passengers getting on and off trains. There we go. Here's the other end. Do you know what? There is. I'd never seen that before. Uh, and where was the other one? It was up the top here somewhere, wasn't it? Um, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, here. Yeah, there is. Look. There's people waiting for trains. And there's truck <laughs> trucks coming in on the... What are they doing? That is weird. That is very weird. Yeah, I know normally you wouldn't see all of this sort of stuff. I think they're spawning there and then they're appearing over here, are they? So it's working now. Let's just put this on so we can see uh, underground. So there we go. We've got trains going backwards and forwards. How did I do that? Well, some of you may already know this or some of you may not. But this actually counts as a train station. You see, I've got a, a stop here. So I'd run a stop from here to here and back again. And it's picking up these people. Um, so, yeah. That is what you need to get the thing going. And we've now got a train going backwards and forwards from here. Stopping here and then running through over here. Now, one thing I have just thought as I am speaking these words right now is... I have free public transport turned on. <laughs> Increases use of public transportation. We get no income at all from tickets. We're actually getting a lot of people moving out for some reason. I wonder why that is. I've not been keeping an eye on my city. So, having something like this set up is probably a complete waste of time. Because I've got free public transport on. And as my train lines are actually working okay. Uh, let's go underground. I don't think we really need to do this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all these underground lines. There we go. Delete that. And we are just going to connect our train line back up like it was before. There we go. And then we'll probably go and have a quick look at that other section. There we go. Over by... Let's have a look. Can I delete that stop? Yep. And there's one in there. We'll delete that as well as it's not connected up. Yeah, we'll leave that going. That's fine. Why are we suddenly getting a big drop? Um, has anybody got loads of problems over here? Okay, that needs to be emptied. So let's get that emptied. Let's have a glance around. Still, oh, what, what are these people over here? Can, wow, lots of traffic. They're probably complaining too few services. Okay, what is this area here? Yeah, there probably isn't a lot of services in here, is there? Let's put in a few things. We've got that up there. Do we have death care? Yes, we do. Do we have fire care down here? No, we don't. Let's add one of those in there. And we'll stick that down there to help. Do we have police? All the way over there. So let's add a police in over here as well. Already looks starting to upgrade. Good, good. They don't need schools. Traffic has started to become a little bit of an issue, I've noticed. Drop down to 69, 68%. Hey, you're complaining over here as well. What are you complaining about? Not enough raw materials. Oh, okay. Well, not much I can do about that at the moment. Um, let's take a quick look around the rest of our city. Any major problems that jump out before we start dealing with our... Eh, sort of looking okay. The odd little issue here and there, but nothing major. Okay, well, let's take a look at this section here. Um, and I do think... 
if we could get another line coming out of there. I'm gonna, at some point, I'm going to have to rejigger all of this to get more space for, for lines and stuff. But for now, I want to make this one way. So let's pause the game. Yeah, see, there's a perfect example to stop things like that happening. Yeah. Going to be slightly annoying, but there we go. But that means we're going to have to sort of... I'm thinking we're going to put this underground along here and then connect these up underground because there's just not much space above at all. So, yeah, why not? I think that seems okay. So if we just delete... Uh, let's turn that off there. If we delete these sections here that join up, first of all, and that one there, and then we're going to take out... I'm just wondering whether we could leave that bridge in the middle and just sort of take out a section like that and have that as our two underground connections. If we go all the way back to the junction, yeah, we pretty much have... Let's see. Let's do this as we go. Uh, let's turn all of that off. Why is it doing that? Anyway. I don't know why. Sometimes it does that. Puts the colours of the... Mm -hmm. Where's the train one? Puts the colours of the buildings in. Doesn't really matter. Let's... Quick pause and unpause. There we go. So if we go... Page down. Like that there. And then we'll do the same over here. Page down. There we go. Um, and then we'll do the same here. Actually, are we... Yeah, page down. There we go. And then if we connect those two up... Ah, oh, there's a blimmin' great big... We go page down again. It's under there. Is there going to be enough room? Yes, there we go. So we've got a connection there. And let's go here as well. So page down... So we can get it as small as we can, and then connect that to there. Excellent. So we've got some underground space we can connect in and out from. Uh, this is our metro line here. That's what that is. So let's see. Let's see. If we we want to use one way to come in first of all. Which way are the trains coming? Yes. So they're coming down on the left hand side. So coming in here to try and connect to this. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Uh, how the heck are we going to do that? Because somehow we need this line here. I'm wondering whether to move that station. If I can do it without moving the station, that would be good. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that there and go page down. Is that actually connecting there? What is that? <laughs> what is that little thing there? Look. Oh, that does connect there. Okay. Can I go page down then? No, not enough room. Let's try that again. Let's keep this straight. Try and make it a bit easier. Ah, oh, there we go. Underground. Please go underground. Please have enough room to go underground. Slope too steep. Darn it. Okay, a bit of terraforming and we've managed to get it underground. Yes. Can I connect a one-way line from here to there? Let's see if we can. Let's curve that around. I don't think this is going to work. Let's do it backwards. Oh, we can from there. Okay, that's fine. And then we're just going to turn that around the other way. There we go. So they're only going to go in there. That's fine. And they'll go in. <laughs> there we go. They'll go in here. That'll just be automatically make all of this one way. We don't need to change anything else. And then it'll come around here, up to there, up to there. So we need to make that one way going out there. So, let's delete this. This is going to go underground as well. So, let's do this with a piece of one-way track. I'm going to go from there to there. Page down. Okay. And then, of course, we've got to connect these going the other direction as well. That's when the fun's going to start. So, if we go under there, is that down enough? No, let's go page down again. There we go. Found a spot you can connect. Excellent. So, they can now come out and go that way. But, of course, we need them to go the other way as well. Um... And what we need to keep in mind, if we turn this off, is... Let's just stick with this side here. So if they want to go right on the train line, they need to hit the top of the line so trains aren't crossing over. Remember we discussed that last time? So if we can split off from this and hit this side of the line, the top side, that's where we need to come in. Um, not quite sure how we're going to do that. So this is going to have to come off. Uh, are you underground? I can't actually tell. 
Yes, you are. So that's going to have to come off like that from that side. Just try and make it as small as possible. So annoying when it clicks onto other things. Ah, it's not a curved train. Let's try that again. Not a curved rail. There we go. Right, let's try that again. So you can come off from there. Curve round. And connect onto here somewhere. Yeah, we, we want it to flick around that side. And not this side. We don't want that. So I'm wondering whether we could just do it this way instead. <laughs> Because of all the other roads and things. Yeah, we don't want it to go that side. I'm sure I can do it if I fiddle around enough with it. Hmm. I'm not sure whether that will work or not. Um, I've used the Move It mod to drag it up there. Let's let's connect this back up again. I'm not sure whether that's a good idea. Yeah, there we go. I was just going to watch the trains for a moment. See if any are coming in. Uh, where are we coming in? Yeah, they're coming in here. Okay, this one's coming in. That's fine. He's going to stop. There we go. He's not. He's bypassing. Good, good. Let's see where he goes. Let's follow his journey. So he's coming down here. He's going to stop at this track. And then I'm hoping they're not going to disappear. Because I want them to go out. See, look. He's going up. So how is he going to go? Where is he going to go? Because that line is one way up here. So he's basically going to despawn, isn't he? He's going to go round. Stop at that station. Go past and then despawn. That's what's going to happen. Unless he goes back again. Oh, it's like an inter... Right, okay. That's fine. Right, this is what we want to watch. This one here. Let's see whether these ones... Going underneath... Uh, on this line here. Whether one can go round and go over this way. So let's watch. So he can go off to the left. That's fine. They can go straight through. That's fine. Is anybody going to go around to the right? The annoying thing is you can't see the rails underground. So like we saw in the last episode, sometimes when you're running these one-way rails off, it looks like they're not connected. And then when you use the Move It mod and move them around, they will connect up. But I've not seen a train go up and over and round that way yet. So I'm wondering whether I'm just going to sit here and watch it for a while and see whether... Let's just make that one... Slight. I mean, that's a big curve up there, but this is just for test purposes. Yeah, I'm going to sit here for a while and see whether the train does turn right. Oh, oh, there we go. Look, one's going round. Yes, it's working. Fantastic. Hopefully, I started the recording in time to see that. I basically used the Move It mod and sort of pulled this round a bit. Just by eye, made it to what I thought would look like it's joined up correctly and to sort of smooth that curve out a bit. That is working fantastic. That is really good. So they can go both ways. So what we need now is um, when trains come in this direction, we need them to connect onto there. And of course, that's going to come again from the outside of the track down to here. So let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can do that. Um, we're probably going to have to do the same thing again. So that is basically going to have to connect onto here somewhere if possible can we do it from over here the underground part why is that not that is underground track there isn't it yes it is hmm let's go this direction sloop too steep space already occupied see that's all underground so that shouldn't oh there we go look we can do it like that but i want this space to be big enough to hold a large train why isn't that working? This is all underground and it's saying these things are in the way. That is nuts. That shouldn't do that at all. Is it? I'm going to have to do it in two parts, I think. So if we go like that. And then like that. Yeah. So that's coming in that way. But that needs to be round the back again. So let's use the Move It mod. We're going to grab... Is there a node along here somewhere? Nope, that's not a node. <laughs> it's not working, is it? Look, it's not letting me do underground stuff like it did before. I don't know what we'll do. We'll delete the highway. Uh, let's go underground again, please. There we go. Get the Move It mod on. It's not letting me grab this rail. Oh, there we go. I've managed to draw this one in by hand. It's all getting a bit close to this station that's here, though. So I'm not sure 
how that's going to work. But yeah, I've managed to do it by hand. So we didn't use the move it mod, so we know that's going to work okay. Let's connect our loads back up again. We put that on to there. Yep. And that onto there. There we go. Good. So if we keep an eye on this one. So if anybody wants to come off, they can go up the top. It's not going to stop anybody going through like we're seeing there. And if they want to come off, they can. Yeah, so that should work okay. Got the metros here as well that are going underneath. Yes. Yeah. Good. Okay. So that should stop things blocking up along there. Which is one of the things we need. Is there any other zip? Let's come all the way along to the end here. How's this going? Yeah, passenger trains are coming in again. Excellent. So let's follow along here. Is there any other spots where we may get things clogging up? Let's take a look underground on this one. Now this one's working okay. It's not that busy along here. I've not used any one-way tracks or anything here. And it's, it's always pretty clear. So I'm not worried about that one. Uh, we've got another one coming on and off here. Let's have a look. That one seems to be going okay. It's got the bypass. It's got the train on and off. Even if they do block each other a little bit, it's moving fine. Uh, this one here. Let's have a look. Which one's this one? Ah, yes. This is the large one that goes all the way along over there. So these are stopping a bit. Why is that? So this is red because it's pretty busy. I don't know, this one seems to be okay as well. We'll leave that one. Let's turn that off so it's easy to follow the train line. This is the one we've just done. And that's going okay. Let's move along this way. Do you know what? We may have solved... We may have solved our rail problem. This one here was actually pre-built in the game. And that goes okay because they all come on in the right direction and stuff. So they're not blocking each other when they come off. Do you know what? Oh, I thought that was a cargo train there. I was thinking, what the heck are you doing? As we're following along here, all of this is pretty empty. It's all pretty empty. That's then coming over to our train roundabout. It's We've solved our train traffic problems. Look at that. That is fantastic. I'm really pleased with that. Yay, at last. The only thing that I'm thinking may be an issue is this station here. Because it's all so close to everything else. That when long trains come in. There are some extremely long trains that are on my asset list. Um, I didn't handpick my asset list. Just to let you know. I've had a few people asking me about it. Um, I just threw together a couple of other great big asset lists that people had made. That I like the look of. This is before I started this series. And then when I started the series, I didn't actually go through it and change anything. So there's a lot of things, a lot of things I've got, assets and stuff that I don't know I've got just because they're in the list. And some of them is some huge trains. There's a USLD PAX train. I'm going to remove that one because it is so long, it sticks out the back. Uh, when I was doing this over here, it joined on there and it stuck out the back. So whoever's made that has made it far too long. Um, so I'm going to, yeah, remove that one. But apart from that, I think our train network, with the cargo changes we did last time, are doing really well. We're losing people because we need to grow. Oh yeah, one of the things that we need to do is to turn off Demolish Abandoned and Demolish Burned for a bit. Because we were trying to get... Now what is it? Our observatory changing tack altogether. And that needs a thousand... Abandoned buildings in the city. Now, a couple of people commented that the automatic deleting mod that we've got, automatic bulldoze mod, let's come out of that, this one here, it deletes them quicker than the game registers them. So, hopefully, uh, let's find the observatory in this one, because then we'll get the updated figures, won't we? There we go, nine. Yeah, you see, it's counting some now that it hasn't counted before. And we do have ones going abandoned and unabandoned over time. So if we just leave that going, that will slowly build its way up. So that'll be good. What are you complaining about down here? Oh, a police station turned off. Oh, there we go. Let's turn that back on again. That's cheered you up. So we do actually need to put in some more houses. We've got a bit of a, a demand for 
residential. And I'm just thinking, this is the area that we've been building up. And also our island over here. Maybe, let's have a look. Just thinking whether we could do another little island top area here. I'm just looking at where some obvious roads would go for that. Let's turn that off. Let's grab... Yeah, our two-lane gravel road. I think our two-lane gravel road would definitely come up here. That connects somewhere nicely. You know what it is. It's just a little bit too steep, isn't it? Let's come off of here. Nope. Can we get in here anywhere? 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 Space would you occupy? Why did it go underneath that? Oh, there we go. It will if you go at a weird angle like that. Okay, that's fine. And that's going to go up the mountain and connect to that. Oh, there's a gravel road. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yep, yep, that's fine. And then this... Oh, hang on a sec. Let's make sure no one's going to suddenly run out of power. Yep, there we go. Oh, what's this long train here? This is a pretty long train. USLD PAX train. There we go. That's the one. Look at the length of that thing. So then if we follow this... Sort of up here, where it would obviously go... Let's see. Yeah, that would curve around there. Not quite as much as that. Then up this way. Up over the top there. Let's have a look. It would come down here, I reckon. Can I connect to that? Yes, we can. And then it would also go up here. I love using the, the, the gravel paths for, for mountain places. It just sort of seems... Seems the right sort of road to use. And then we can have... Let's see. Yeah, that would be like a little mountain pass going through here. There we go. Round to the other side. We can do something with that. Then we've got a nice bit of flat top up here that we can build on. So let's see. What can we have here? Let's have... Can connect to there. There we go. Nice little community at the top there. Good. What are you complaining about? Well, you're complaining about noise because let's have a look. Yes, the noise pollution there is quite high. I'll tell you what I'll do about that. There we go. We'll change those to offices. There's actually some spaces around here that aren't built in. Is that meant to be a park? I can't remember. Did I do that as a park? I did do that as a park. Let's not put any offices in there. Let's take those out. There we go. Yeah, we'll just change those ones over there. Complaining about the noise. And then, where else can we go? We can go up here. Up to the top. We can have another little one through the middle there. This section here, definitely. Uh, yep, yeah, you're going to connect up there. And then you're going to go across over here. And I'm feeling like we need... There we go, those two roads. Let's connect those around like that. Oh, and then we can end up with a nice... Beach. Oh, we're right on the edge of the map here. We can end up with a nice sort of beachfront area down here as well. Something like that and some hotels. We'll come back to that area there, but let's just think about this one. Uh, that's pretty much sort of covered any parts of the mountain that look like you would sort of naturally build on it. We could definitely have some cable cars going up there, couldn't we? Let's grab some of those. And they could be at the stop here and by the uh, courthouse as well. Let's see, let's see. So if we have cable car end stop, that's this one. Hmm, where could we put that? Down here? Am I going to be able to get a cable car up and over... I go page up. Yeah, I can go up to there. There we go. So that could be our start. And then we could have, let's see, cable car stop there. There we go. Did it all in one go and it's connected nicely. Excellent. And then we could have that one. Let's see. Cable car stop. Where else could we put one? We could have one in the middle here. 
that would connect nicely. Then we could have one... Let's see. Oh, man, yeah, this place is going to be fed by cable cars everywhere. Could we fit one in here somewhere, going up and down there? We definitely want one along here, if we can. Then we want another end stop down the bottom there. Let's see whether we can connect those up. Oh, it comes out the back, doesn't it? Um, let's move that. Move you to the other side. Yeah, that makes it easier. There we go. And then if we connect from there to there in valid shape. Oh, darn it. Let's move this one around a bit. Can you go over here somewhere? Yes, try that. Invalid shape. Okay, let's see what we can do. Oh, I tell you what it is. How far out can this one come? So there. Go on, you can do it. Yep, to there. To there. <laughs> it's trying to do it so it doesn't go around a right angled corner. Like that won't connect to there. Um, aha, there we go. Moved it again. That fit in fine. And then is that one going to connect? Let's have a look. Over here, okay. Yep, that's going to go across that middle of that road there nicely. And then this one's going to connect to there. Can we go straight across? We can. Oh, look, the cable cars are going already. Let's pause that so they stop complaining. Can I have more than one cable? I can't connect off like this, can I? No, I can't. But can I have more than one coming out of this? No, I can't. Okay, so we can't split off and come down here. Well, that makes sense. That makes sense. Let's see. Can I have another one coming out of there at all? Let's try this. Let's do an end-of-line cable car stop here. Let's have one going as far over as it will go. So 134 degrees... Seems about the max. Can I go this way at all? No, I can't with another one in there. Okay, well, that makes sense then. So, if you want a cable car route going up over this side, we need another set of cable cars. So, maybe we'll just leave it to that one there. We'll go up and over the top of the mountain. Yeah. From the train station down here. Okay, that looks good. Let me put some water pipes and things in. Okay, I've added all the services in that we need. So basically, all that's left now... We've got a bus stop in here as well. Let's put all of this in. So that's going to cover up there. And that should be everything there. We're going to do all down this road here. Right up to there. That's it. Not that side. Let's see. What should we do here? Yeah, let's do these as well. There we go. I think that needs filling in. I think that one needs filling in with that one. That one needs filling in with that one. Get it all lined up. You're still complaining about the noise. So I tell you what, you around here are all just going to be offices. Because you do nothing but complain about the noise. And you and you. Yeah, I think that should be okay. Oh, we've got a house in there. Do you know what? Let's make let's make the whole of that section around their offices. That seems to fit in much better. Uh, we've got no shops up here. Let's just make this little section here. Because I know the cable cars are going to stop here. We've got schools here. And I've got... Let's try that again. There we go. And I've got some bus stops that come up here as well. So I'm going to make the interior here. Let's get rid of all of that. All of those are going to be shops. And then we'll get the houses back round over here. Before they move in, let's make a nice big district. Um, so we've actually got some of this covered already. Okay, we're going to... This is going to change. I want all of this up here to be its own district up to... Let's get all of this in. Yep, all of this down to where the mountain is. So let's take all of that back. Thank you very much. There we go. And where does it go? Down here as well. Yep. So all the way down that road up to there. I don't think there's any other roads, is there, with houses on that could be built. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this whole section here... I'm going to get this bit of mountain here because we're probably going to put a road down there as well, which I haven't done. Let's do that first. This is all going to be... 
Let's come down there. This is all going to be high-tech housing. There we go. They need some water pipes. Let's just run that down here. I want this to be a nice, posh, high-tech high housing area. Um, and then let's just fill in this as well. We can do it like this. Do, do, actually, it would be easier like that because it's the whole thing. There we go. Yep, everybody pleased with that. Good. So let's have a look back at this area. So, policies for lilac hills. Let's have a look. Uh, themes, no. City planning. We're going to have high-tech housing. There we go. Uh, taxation. We're going to have tax. Relief for low-density residential. Get that going. And then I think everything else should be okay. So we'll leave the rest as it is. Uh, power up here, of course, being right on the top of a hill. Can we do this without getting too much noise? If we go like that there. Yep, that's on a good spot. What about down here? Just about far enough away. Hopefully, that will be enough power for these people up here. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Let's see how people move in up here. We've got a nice... Is that medium need? Yeah, medium de demand for residential. Let's see what happens. Don't stop. go well as the demand increases they will move into that mountain top they've done it on this one look the last one we did they've absolutely filled this thing every speck of land that we put down for living on has been filled up do you know what we could do as well which we don't have over here uh where are we is we could put yeah we want some of these blimps no monorails uh, where are they planes let's turn that off up there we want a blimp stop up the top of the mountain, of course, so people can come up here. Uh, there's the cable car right there. So if we put that over here somewhere, there we go. Let's join that to the blimp network. Where's the nearest blimp line? All the way over there. So let's have this one. There we go. Curve over this way and up the mountain. Is that connected on there? Like that. Excellent. And we can have a blimp line going from there to there and back again. Look at that. How about that for a trek? A cross over from mountain to mountain. That would be absolutely fantastic, wouldn't it? And then what we could as well is add a little blimp stop down here so people can get up and down. I mean, we've got the monorails and things, but I like seeing blimps flying over the top of stuff. I think they just look really cool. Can we fit one in the middle here? Oh, that would be a shame. How about over here? Oh, yeah, over here, look. Perfect spot for a blimp. There we go. By our high tech. Oh, we're doing... Auto save, sip of tea. Mm. There we go. Uh, we can add that also to the root. Let's put that on. So that one can go, let's say, over the river. And then up over this area here. Where is it? There it is. And then to there. Yep, yeah, that sounds good to me. A new line from there to there. Oh, could I actually click the button? There we go. To there and back again. Excellent. There we go. People can fly down there as well. Cool. That looks really good. I'm looking at all those blimps lining up. Fantastic. We should see some start appearing over here when people come. And heading from mountain to mountain and also down to our area down there. Cool, that is looking really good. I'm really pleased with that. Population is dropping because we are... Let's have a look at our observatory. What are we up to? 219 out of 1,000. So I'm going to leave that off for a minute. So it, it means we're going to get some buildings. There we go. Look, we've got... Struggling to get cargo over here. But, you know, buildings that are abandoned for various reasons... There were no goods to sell. So getting goods over here would be good. Ha ha. But we'll work on that another time. We've obviously got our goods hub down here. We could just add in. Do you know what we can add in? 
I wonder whether to do that or to wait. I don't want the whole area to collapse. There's going to be a natural sort of attrition of buildings that are going to be collapsing. I don't want them to completely collapse like that. Oh, can we not? Yeah, we can add one of these in here. A good harbour. In fact, along here somewhere would be fantastic because they can just join up to this road. Shoreline. There we go. If we connected it here or along here. Where would they come on and off? They would come on and off by this roundabout. Yes, we want it there. Hmm. Let's have a look at that. And if we connected that up here with some one-way roads, let's see. So if we come off here and go, let's curve this around. Far enough back from the junction like that and then that one can curve back in ah I was going to join in there but actually that's probably not a good idea is it we could join onto here couldn't we somewhere let's change that uh, let's change that one as well and let's change that one as well I don't like the angle that's going so let's go should we connect it like that and see how that goes? Hopefully that doesn't start causing any problems. If it does, we can we can change things around, can't we? Let's put one of those in there to connect that up. He needs water pipes as well. Let's give him a pipe to water. There we go. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. That'll start getting some cargo into this area here. But yeah, we, we're working our way towards the observatory. Yep, we're still making lots of money. Do we have any blimps? We have blimps coming over our mountain top. There we go. Excellent. Well, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, leave a like. If you're enjoying this series, hit the big B with a T stain to subscribe and not miss out on the next episode tomorrow. Our place is getting so, so busy. I'm absolutely loving Sipper Tea City. And we've got more things to do in the next episode. So I will see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.